telling you about uh, Mr. Wood and Tommy Lyons got me to thinking some more about Mr. Wood. Well, he's quite a guy. He, uh, when we'd have those campouts with uh, Riley Scott and all the teachers, if somebody wanted a flag put up on top of a pine tree, it was Woody that would climb the tree. If he didn't need a flag, he might just want to go up there and hang up something just because I think he liked to climb trees. Just like he liked to climb mountains. Well, sometime in the late 80s, when I was between jobs, I was subbing in Jefferson County schools and subbed at the new, you know, the junior high that I helped with the design in the new junior high in science. And when I had a planning period, I stepped in and observed Mr. Wood teaching science to, I think, ninth graders. Man, oh man, he was covering medical stuff and health stuff in more detail than I ever heard in my battalion surgeon's assistant training. I mean, really, you sound like you're listening to a doctor. And I just know a little, not a lot, but I know enough to know, that, hey, this man is telling good things that will really help these people that are listening and paying attention to have richer, fuller, healthier lives. Well, I watched the whole period. And in between classes, told him, gee, Woody, I was really impressed. Well, then, I don't remember if it was at lunch or after school. We're visiting a little more. And he more or less says, you know, how's your health? And I said, well, pretty good, but doggone it, I have a lot of trouble with my stomach, some hemorrhoid trouble. Mm, you know, it doesn't really bother, but it's painful, and it's not a my stomach and intestinal tract isn't doing as well as it might. Had some surgery on it, had a fistula operation a few years ago. He said, let me tell you something. And he said, I cover this at a different time than today. But to keep your intestinal tract going, he said, when they tell you fiber, 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 yeah, I'll do it with diet. But he said, you can fudge and make sure by buying Metamucil, or he said, you might as well save money and buy the Walmart variety. It's all vegetable fiber that they're selling. And he said, you take that and you take a heaping spoonful, maybe a spoonful and a half and a glass of water, mix it up, chuck it down. And he said, you just won't have hemorrhoids, nor will you have an upset stomach very often. And if you do have an upset stomach, he said, whatever time of day it strikes you, go find that bottle of uh, jar of uh, fiber and Take an extra dose. Doesn't make any difference if you're having diarrhea or if you're doing the upchecks. It'll settle your stomach and help you not suffer needlessly. Well, you know, that's been 20, 25 years ago. 20 at least. And I've been, man, I'm the best customer, one of the best customers for that vegetable powder that Walmart has. And I just don't have any trouble with that intestinal tract. Very, very seldom do I need to take an extra dose. But once in a while I eat something that doesn't agree with me and might be going out either end, but follow his suggestion. Without fail, takes care of it in minutes. Usually I take the medicine, lay down, take a little rest, and when I wake up, never know that I was sick to start with. Well, you know, it's good to have a friend that can be your extra doctor who's not a doctor. You know, in the olden days, you wouldn't dare be that frank with kids about such personal things as their health and what they eat and what effects it might have to make them healthier and so on. But he sure wasn't having any trouble with it there. Of course, Evergreen Jr. would come a long way. One day when I was there subbing, the PA system comes on in the middle of the afternoon and says, now just a reminder to all students, no limousines at tomorrow night's sock hop. Limousines to come to a sock hop at night? 
we always had our sock hops at the end of the day. Within school hours, school supervision, and limos, who ever heard of such a thing? Tells you also that some people that moved into Evergreen had way more money than they knew what to do with it to be hiring limos to take kids to a junior high soccer. Ugh. No wonder we're in the mess we're in. The other thing I want to comment on while I've got a kind of little pre minute here both Mr. Wood and Mr. Younger expressed at different times than I've seen them over these last few years their extreme pride and I'm proud too. Jeff Ashby that I remember just as a scrawny little guy I think maybe in the seventh grade about the time I left there. Jeff Ashby Evergreen Junior, Evergreen Senior High astronaut. And I suspect that both of those men got invitations to come down but I know that Gene Younger and his wife, Marcia, went down to Florida and saw Jeff on one of the launches. Can you imagine the thrill, the pride, the joy, the apprehension to be sure there's another challenger when your student's lifting off? Evergreen Junior, good staff. Evergreen High, good staff. Wilmot, Parmalee, good staff, good schools. Great kids, great community.